trust no one. the shock that got me. I was so shocked. All I could see was the pain all around me. Little spinning starlights of pain because of the shocking thing the angel just told me. You see, she was always there for me. I could count on her. She was my very own god bless little Angel. My own gift of God. God help you! You get in my face! But last night she crawled into the box I occupy at 180th Street in the Bronx. I was sleeping. Nothing special wandering through my thoughts. Some the panic over my empty stomach and the wind chill factor. And how, oh how, was I ever going to reclaim my lost Citibank MasterCard? I have no money. She folded her hot, silver, Angel wings underneath her leather jacket as she crawled into my box, reordering the air, waking me up with the shock, the bad news that she was going to leave me forever. Why don't you get a job? Don't you see? She once stopped Nazi skinheads from setting me on fire in Van Cortlandt Park. Don't you get it, lady? I live on the streets. I am dead meat without my guardian angel. I'm going to be food, a fucking appetizer for those Hitler youth and their cans of gasoline. Okay, oh, hey, then! Kill them now! Take them out! That means you don't have any protection art either. Your guardian angel's gonna leave you too. That means in the next four or five seconds, I could change the entire course of your life. Blast him into little bits! Turn him into salt! I could turn you into one of me. So that every time you look in the mirror, every time you dream, every time you close your eyes in some hopeless logic, the closed eyes are shield against the nightmares. You're gonna think you turned into me. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, bless the bed that I lie on. Four corners to my bed, four angels round my head, one to watch and one to pray, and two to bear my soul away.
your head open. Mira, people are trying to sleep. You're pissing me off, Matthew. Open the door. Worshipping a fire hydrant on Taylor Avenue, Marisol. He was draping rosaries on him, genuflecting hard. An old woman selling charm chicken blood and see through Ziploc bags for a buck. They're setting another homeless man on fire in Van Cortland Park. down, consume the ruins, put the ashes of those evaporated dreams into a big urn and set that urn on the desk of a few thousand oily politicians. Let 
them smell the disaster like we do. So what do you believe in, Marisol? Do you believe in me? Or do you believe in your senses? If so, what's that taste in your mouth? Mmm, arroz con gandules, yum. What's your favorite smell, Marisol? Oh, the ocean. I smell the ocean. Do you like sex, Marisol? Oh, 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 I have this wild energy running through my body. Oh, here's your big chance, baby. What would you like to ask the angel of the Lord? my rent? Is it true that Angel's favorite food is Thousand Island dressing? Is it true that your shit smells like mangoes and when you're drunk you speak Portuguese? Oh, honey, the last time I was drunk. Uh, wait a minute. Am I dead? Did I die last night? Oh my god. I've been dead all night. And when I look around, I see that death is my ugly apartment in the Bronx. No, this can't be death. Death can't have this kind of furniture. God, you are so cute. I could just eat you up. No. You're still alive. Am I pregnant with the Lord's baby? <laughs> is the new Messiah swimming inside my electrified womb? No. Baby. Is the super sperm of God growing a mythic flower in the secret greenhouse inside me? No, baby. Oh, well, my morning sickness tastes like communion wine. No, this baby. is amazing. Billions of women on earth, and I get knocked up by God. No. <laughs> no, baby. No? What is it? Are you real or not? Because if you're real and God is real and the Gospels are real, this would be the perfect time to tell me. Because I once looked for angels. I did. In every shadow of my childhood. I thought I'd find you hiding inside the notes I sang to myself as a kid. The songs put me to sleep and kept me from killing myself with fear. But I didn't see you then. Come on, somebody up there has to tell me why I look the way I do. What's going on here anyway? Why is there a war on children in the city? Why are apples extinct? Why were they planning to drop human insecticide on overpopulated areas of the Bronx? Why does common rainwater turn your skin bright red? Why do cows give salty milk? Why did the color blue disappear from the sky? Why did the plague kill half of my friends? And what happened to the moon? Where did it go? How come no one's seen it in nearly nine months? I kick-started your heart, Marisol. I wired your nervous system. I pushed your fetal blood in the right direction and turned the foam in your infant lungs to oxygen. When your parents were fighting, I helped you pretend that you were underwater, that you were a fish in the bottom of the black ocean far away and safe. When racists ran you out of school, screaming, Kill the spick! I turned the monsters into little columns of salt. At last count, one plane crash, one collapsed elevator, one massacre at the hands of a right-wing fanatic with an Uzi, and 66,000 603 separate sexual assaults never happened because of me. Wow. Now I don't have to be so paranoid?
Now for the bad news. What? I don't expect you to understand the political ins and outs of what's going on, but you have eyes. You ask me questions about children and water and war and the moon. Same questions I've been asking myself for a thousand years. What's that noise? The universal body is sick, matter soul. Constellations are wasting away. The nauseous stars are full of blisters and sores. The infected earth is running in temperature and everywhere. The universal mind is racked with amnesia, boredom, and neurotic obsessions. Why? Because God is old and dying. And he's taking the rest of us with him. And for too long, much too long, I've been looking the other way, trying to stop the massive hemorrhage with my little hands with my prayers, but it didn't work. And I knew if I didn't do something soon, it would be too late. What did you do? I called a meeting, and I urged the heavenly hierarchies, the seraphim, cherubim, thrones, dominions, principalities, powers, virtues, angels, and archangels to vote to stop the universal ruin by slaughtering our senile god. And they did. Listen well, Marisol angels are going to kill the king of heaven and restore the vitality of the universe with his blood, and I am going to lead them. OK, I want to wake up now. Soon there's going to be war, a revolution of angels. God is great. God is good. Thank you, God, for our neighborhood. Soon we're going to send out spies, draft able-bodied celestial beings, raise taxes. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you, God, for everything. Soon we're going to drop our wings of peace and put on our wings of war. Then we're going to spread blood and vigor across the sky and reawaken the dwindling stars. And there is a war in the heaven. Michael and his angel fought the dragon, and the dragon fought the It could be suicide, a massacre. He's better armed, better organized, and well, more than a little omniscient. We have to win. And when we do win, when we crown the new god and begin the new millennium, the earth will be restored. The degradation of the animal kingdom will stop. Men and women will be elevated to a higher order. All children will speak Latin and creation will finally be perfect. It also means I have to leave you. I can't stay, I can't protect you anymore. What? You're leaving me? I don't want to. I love you. But I thought you had to know, and now I have to go and fight. Going to be alone? And that's what you have to do. Marisol, you have to fight. You can't endure anymore. You can't trust luck or prayer or mercy or other people. When I drop my wings, all hell is going to break loose, and soon you're not going to recognize the world. So get yourself some power, Marisol, whatever you do. What's going to happen to me without you? I don't know. I'm going to be meat! I'm going to be food! Unless you want to join us. No!
know where the moon has gone to. They claim to see the moon hovering over the orbit of Saturn, looking lost. Pentagon officials are considering plans to spend billions on a space tug to haul the moon back to Earth. The tug would attach a long chain to the moon, so it never strays from its beloved Earth again. One insider has been quoted as saying the White House hopes to raise revenues for Operation Moon Rescue by taxing lunatics. Responding to allegations that cows are giving salty milk because grass is contaminated, government scientists are drafting plans to develop a new strain of cow that lives by eating astroturf. Marisol! Thank God! I couldn't sleep all night because of you! What's the matter? You died! You died! It was all over the networks last night! You're on the front page of the Pope's! 26-year-old Marisol Perez of 180th Street in the Bronx was bludgeoned to death on the IRT number two last night. The attack occurred 11 p.m. I thought it was you, and I tried to call you, but... Do you know how many Marisol Perez's there are in the Bronx phone book? <laughs> Only seven pages. I couldn't sleep. How did he kill her? Fucking barbarian beat her with a golf club. Can you believe that? Like a caveman kills a dinner fucking freak. I'm still upset. It wasn't me. It could have been you, living alone in that marginal neighborhood, all the chances you take. Like, doesn't this shit scare you? It wasn't me. Goddamn vultures are having a field day with this. Fast close-ups of Marisol Perez's pummel face on TV. I mean, what's the point? There's a prevailing sickness out there. I'm telling you, the Dark Ages are here. Visigoths are climbing the city walls, and I've never felt more like raw food in my life. Am I upsetting you with this? Yeah. Good. But the fear of God in you. Don't let them catch you not ready. You gotta be really prepared to fight now. Why did you say that? Did somebody make you say that? Something wrong with you today? You look like shit. You, Miss Yucky Puerto Rican Princess of the Universe, you never look like shit. No. <laughs> it's nothing. Let's get to work. If I don't get this manuscript off my desk. Something happened to you last night? No. No. It's, it's nothing. It's my body. Fits into my clothes all wrong today. Every person on the subway gave me the shivers. They all looked so hungry. I keep smelling burnt flesh and I keep hearing children crying. And now you're telling me that there's a woman with my exact name killed on my exact street last night. And I had this dream. A winged woman. A black angel with beautiful wings. She came to my bed and she said she loved me. Oh? She seemed so real, so absolute, virtuous and powerful, and capable of lying, sublime, radiant, pure, perfect, and fulgent. Fulgent? <laughs> Whoa. Yo, Marisol, that didn't happen. You dreamed it. It's Roman Catholic bullshit. Now I just, I just feel sorry. I just feel so sorry for everything. Look at it. I think your dream is like the moon's disappearance. It's all a lot of pre-millennium jitters. I've never seen so much nervousness. It's still up there, but paranoia has clouded our view. That shit can happen, you know? I don't think the moon's disappearance is psychological, June. It's like the universe is senile. We're a part of history where everything breaks down. Do you smell smoke? Wait, it's 9.30. Smoke from that massive fire in Ohio is supposed to reach New York by 9.30. Jesus. Was her a million trees burning? Oh, Christ, you can smell the polyester, the burnt malls, the defaulted loans, the unemployment. 
The flat vowels. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck it. I'm going on break. You want something from downstairs? Coffee? I'm going for coffee. Coffee's extinct, June. Tea. I meant tea. I'll get us both a cup of tea. Try to carry on like normal. I swear, one more natural cataclysm like that and I'm going home. Are you okay? Salt is in the food and mythology of cultures, old and new. Ancient writers believed that angels in heaven turned to salt when they died. Popular mythology holds that during the fall of Satan, angels who were killed in battle fell into the primordial ocean, which was then fresh water. Today, the oceans are salted by the decomposed bodies of fallen angels. I was a taxi driver with Robert De Niro, and the son of a gun never paid me. Um, are you looking for someone? Oh uh, yeah, the, the second AD said this is where I can go to get my pay for my work in taxi driver. This isn't a film company, sir. We publish science books, but I think there's a film company on the 10th floor. No, this is the place. I'm sure this is the place. Well, you know, I could call security for you. Now, I worked real hard on that picture. And of course, working with a genius like De Niro is like actor heaven, but come on, I still need the money. I'm a busy woman, sir. I have a department to run. Now, I don't mean to get temperamental, but Taxi Driver came out a long time ago, and I still haven't been paid. Yeah, I'm going to call security for you. Christ, lady. I have bills. I have rent. I have a toddler in Catholic preschool. I have an agent screaming for his 10%, and... How the fuck do you think I'm supposed to pay for this ice cream cone? Do you think ice cream is free? Do you think Carvel gives this shit out for nothing? June, is somebody on this floor? Don't fuck with me, lady! I always played a Nazi skinhead in a TV movie of the week. And I always set a man on fire in Corlin Park for CBS, and I really like that role! Leave her alone, you scumbag! <laughs> metal detectors in all the buildings on the block. That'll definitely cut down on the random homicides. That's civilized. That's Brooklyn. Hey, uh, what was that huge, ugly, windowless building across the street with the huge smokestacks and armed guards? Me? I think it's where they bring overthrown, brutal, right-wing dictators from Latin America to live. Because a friend's a friend, right? I appreciate this, June. Good. 
Because now I have to issue you a warning about my fucked up brother who lives with me. Oh, you do? Well, he's a little weird about women. His imagination it takes off on him on the slightest provocation, and he doesn't know, you know, a reasonable way to channel his turbulent sexual death fantasy. So this is a really long warning, Jim. Uh, he knows about you. Shit, I've told him for two years. And so he's developed this thing for you. Like he draws pictures of you in crayon, covering every inch of his bedroom. He's 34, you know, but he has the mental capacity of a child. Wrong! It's a federally funded torture center where they violate people for going over their credit card limit. Marisol, this is Lenny, the heat-seeking device. Lenny, this is Marisol Perez, and you're wrong. <laughs> I've seen the vans, June, so shut up! People tied up. Guards with truncheons, big fat New York City police with dogs. It happens at night, but you can hear the screams. They cremate the bodies, and that's why Brooklyn smells so funny. I owe a lot of money to the MasterCard people. What he says is not proven. <laughs> it's a political issue, June. Everybody knows it. If you weren't so right wing. I am not right wing, you punk! Don't ever call me that! I happen to be the last true practicing communist in New York! Died on the news, but that was a different one. She and I have the same name. Had. Well, I am so glad you didn't die before I got a chance to meet you. That's enough, Lenny. <laughs> I didn't bring her here for you to beat on. I went to your neighborhood this morning to see what kind of street could kill a Marisol Perez. I walked through Van Cortland Park. I danced in the winter sunlight. Saw perverts fondling snowmen, and at high noon, at the dizziest time of day, I saw this poor homeless guy being set on fire by Nazi skin. Okay, that's it, Letty! What? We had a hard day! We came here to relax! She talked to me first, so I... Listen to me before you say anything more! Are you listening? <laughs> yeah, alright. Let's cool our hormones! Okay, before the psychodrama starts in earnest. Yeah, okay. Are we really? Hey, honey, do you want to see my sculpture? You want to get out of here? He's raving. I had a this sculpture, Marisol. Before that, I was a light and growth empowerment practitioner. And before that, I worked for the Brooklyn Spiritual Emergence Network. Ah. I call this piece Marisol Perez. The nails represent all the things I know about you. And the spaces in between the nails, well, they represent the things I don't know about you. As you can see, you are a great mystery. <laughs> no one else is working like this. It's totally new, but it's only a small step in my career. I'm going to need a lot more money. If I ever want to evolve past this point. I don't think Marisol wants to hear us talk about money. Well, I'm not getting a job, June, so you can fuck that noise. Who said job? When did I say job? <laughs> I promised myself that I would never work for anyone again. She heard me say she that. She, Lenny, fuck you. We're going. <laughs> Why do you hate my sculpture? Why do you hate and everything and I do? Lenny, you don't want to learn anything from me, do you? You want to be a pathetic invertebrate your whole life long. Fine, just don't waste my precious time. What the fuck about your time? I have projects. I thought, it, yeah? Whatever happened to the CIA, Lenny? Didn't they want you for something really special in Nicaragua? What about the electric guitars you were going to design for the Stones? What about Snegma, the literary magazine of Brooklyn? I swear, the cadavers of your dead project are all over this goddamn apartment like Greenwood Cemetery. I can't eat a bowl of cereal in the morning without the ghost of his old ideas begging me for a glass of milk. Mom and drown me. I know that don't you wish, but you don't have to feel sorry for me anymore. <laughs> sure I do. Because you're pathetic. The only thing separating you from a concrete bed on Avenue D is me. She thinks I'm a loser, Marisol. Can you believe that? Sometimes, sometimes I just want to kill her. <laughs> oh, get out of my face, Lenny. You're never going to...
gonna kill me. You're never gonna get it together to kill anybody. Can I enlist for you just a few of the things that I don't have because I have him? Lasting friendships, a retirement account, a house, a career, a nightlife, interest on checking, winter clothing, regular, real sex. <laughs> I'm supposed to be somebody. That's what I learned after I die. All the doctors said I died through this medical evidence. It was on the charts. My heart stopped for seven minutes, and my soul was out of my body at the speed of light. Your whole life, everything I do is to post. After I die, my soul was cruising up. And up, and up, it was intercepted by angels, and I got sucked back into my body, and I lived! Give me that knife! I was resurrected. I returned to the world of the living to warn people of the changes that are coming, and we have to be ready. I've been warning people for years, but no one listens to me. <laughs> I almost had Marisol marry me, June. We practically had babies. Now I'm alone. Whatever happens to me out there is totally and specifically on you. For dinner. You think I'm shit for throwing him hell? No. Maybe some people will throw him change. Maybe this will force him to get a job. <laughs> when is he gonna dissolve in the fucking street air? Bedroom, I'll rent it to you. It's available right away. 
What makes you say that? Hey, come on, girlfriend. They're killing Marisol Perez's left and right today. We gotta stick together. Gee, I don't know what to say. You think the Bronx needs you? It doesn't. It needs blood. It needs to feed. And the Bronx is where I'm from. So friggin' what? Come here. We'll survive the millennium as a team. I'll shop. You can clean the chemicals off the food. I know where to buy gas masks. You know the vocabulary on the street. We'll walk each other through landmines and sharpen each other's wits. You're not just saying that because you're afraid to be alone, right? But you really want me here, right? Of course I do. Hey! Let's do it, girlfriend. <laughs> oh, great! I have to be fast. I have to go right now. This city knows when you're alone. That's when it sends out the ghouls and death squads. What a day I'm having, huh? I don't know. 
Please tell me she's not out there on the street. Please tell me she's not in some body bags and we're letting- Oh, man, you saw what it was like. She controlled me. She had me neutered. I squatted and stooped and served her like a goddamn house. What did you do to her? You know, there are whole histories of me that you can't even know. Did you know it was a medical experiment? When I was five to fix my asthma, my mother volunteered me for this free experimental drug on some army base in Nevada. I was a shrieking medical experiment for six years! <laughs> Isn't that funny? And the drugs, the drug can be so friggin' that I can't hold down a job. Make friends, get a degree, nothing. But June, June had everything. She loved you. That's why she would never bring you in the house, even after I begged her for two years. God, don't be this way! We don't have to be enemies. We can talk about this the right way. We have no right way. Oh, we do! We do! God, Marisol, maybe it's God's will that I'm here with you right now in this new frontier out in this lawless city. I'm what he designed for you. I have no idea what you're talking oh, about. Baby, it's me, God's gift. I know you don't love me, but you can't turn your back on God's gift. Jesus, just tell me what you want. I want to offer you a deal. You controlled your life up until this point, and your life's in ruins. Shambles, really? So I'm gonna let you give me control of your life. That means I'll do everything for you. It means I'll cook, I'll clean, I'll get a job and make money. And what you get in return is my protection. I can protect you like June did. I can keep out the criminals and carry the knife for you. I can be your guardian angel, Marisol. You're asking? Small price. Small price. Your faith. Your affection. No, you know, I don't even want your affection anymore. I don't even want to sleep with you. I don't even want your considerable sexual mystery. I just want you. To look up to me, praise me, feed me, make me big, make me sensual, and believe everything I tell you. You once tried to give those things to June, and June would have said yes, because she loved you. Well, I'm June. June and I are both here under this hungry skin. You can love us both, Marisol.
happy too. I want you to tell me right now where June is. Right now! She's on the street. Where? Brooklyn, where? I don't know what happened. I, I did it on the head with the golf club. She doesn't know who she is anymore. She went out there to look for you. Look at me. Look at me. I was swiveling, babbling mess on the floor. I'm just asking you to look at me. To treat me like a human being. Treat me with some compassion. Marisol. Marisol, we could have a baby. We could love it. We could love it so much. Midnight, the police came, 
grabbed me out of bed, waving my, my credit statement in my face, my, my children screaming, they punched my husband in the stomach. I, I, I told them I was a lawyer with a house in Costco with personal references of my lung, but they, they, they hauled me to this large windowless brick building in Brooklyn where they tortured me. That can't happen. Well, a lot of things that can't happen are happening. Everyone I know has had terrible luck this year. Losing condos, careers cut in half, ending up on the street. No, I, I, I thought I'd be safe. I thought I'd be immune. This is going to sound crazy. <laughs> But I think I know why this is happening. No. No. It's no. Just isn't it? It's the war. No, 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 no. God, God is great. God is good. I. No, no, it didn't happen. No, no, no. I dreamt it. I lied. No, it did, but it happened to me. No, I'm not going to talk about this anymore. You're gonna think I'm crazy too. You're gonna, to, you're gonna to tell the city man massacre people where I am so that they can torture me. So I couldn't. I know what I'm going to do now. I'm going to turn you in. I'm going to tell the city bank MasterCard police you stole my plastic. Oh, they'll like me for that. Oh, they'll like me a lot. There was storm. Geography is deformed. 
You're permanently lost out here. Bullshit. Even if God is Team Nile, he still cares. He doesn't play dice, you know, I read that. Shit. <laughs> what century do you live in? June and I had plans. We were gonna live together, survive together. I gotta get her broken mind fixed. I gotta get Lady Perry! <laughs> You look pretty nice. Kinda cute, in fact. Well, what do you think it all means? Us, a man and a woman, just meeting here like this. I don't know. But thank you for your help. Maybe my luck hasn't run out. Don't trust luck. Fast way die around here. You trust gunpowder or trust plutonium. Trust divine intervention, baby. You're fucked. My name is Elvis Press, the beautiful. What's yours? Marisol Perez. What? <laughs> nah. Nah, nah, give me. It is, it has to be. You're confused, or the goddamn grave is coughing up the dead. Uh, but that was her, and I me, mean, and it has to be. Prove it. I was born in the Bronx. Uh huh. And. Ha <laughs> ha, see? Don't remember the dead. street name. Born in 1966. East Tremont. East Tremont. Taylor Avenue. Taylor Avenue. Grand Concourse. Mommy died. Fordham. English major. Uh, Phi Beta Kappa. Mm -hmm. uh, I I went into publishing. I I I I'm clean. I make good money. I commuted light years away to this other planet called Manhattan. Yeah. There I I learned new vocabularies, wore weird native dresses, mastered arcane rituals, amputated clean meat sections of my psyche. Yeah, my cultural heritage, yeah. <laughs> clean easy amputations, with no pain expressed at all, none. But so much pain deep down inside that my Manhattan bosses and my Manhattan friends and my broken Bronx consciousness never even suspected. The memorial services of Marisol Perez were held this morning at St. Patrick's Cathedral. I had an estimated 50,000 mourners included the mayor of New York, the Bronx Borough President, the Guardian Angels, and the cast of the popular tip daytime soap opera as the world turns. That was her, and I'm me. And I'm out of here. Vietnam. I don't want any more angelic napalm just dropped on me. But you, you didn't dream it. What do you think all these people- Not my head! Anything but my head.
fucking innocent, dude. What happened? I was an air traffic controller, Marisol Perez. I had a life. And then I saw angels <laughs> in the radar screen. So I started to drink. Adios, mio. Adios. You're looking for your friend, right? Everybody out here is just looking for something. Well, I I'm looking for something too. What is it? Maybe I can help. My skin. Have you seen my lost skin? It was once very pretty. I was kind of attached to it. I haven't seen anything like that. Excited me. You're looking for me too, right? Somewhere out there. You got you searching too, don't you think? Look, I'm sorry I bothered you. I... I have to go. I was just sleeping. I uh, liked the conversations one night. Another night that I didn't find no shelter. Uh, the place I went to, I got beat up. And they took my clothes, urinated in my mouth, and the fucking blankets they gave me were laced with DDT. So I said, fuck it. Took my shit outside up to some dickhead park in the Bronx. Van Cortland Park. Just to be near some triple trees. I uh, away from the massive noise. For a little nap. My eyes closed. I vaguely still recall the sound of goose death and teenagers from Staten Island shouting orders in Germany. Look, I have to go. June's waiting for me. And with a flash of light, I exploded out. My bubbling skin divorced my suffering nerves and ran away. Looking for some coolness or some paradise, some other body to embrace. <laughs> so now I feel like barbecue. Hell, I could have eaten myself. I could have charged prices for pieces of my bro and me. Please stop, I get the picture. The angel Japanese. Dress in iron, dress in armor, like dress to endure the fires of war. She had a symptom. She? Kissed me. Oh, I nearly exploded. I kept on hearing Jimi Hendrix in my middle ear, and those lips like two hot brands nearly melted me. Boy, I tell you, she was raw. Rainy. Full chip. She told me that angels aboard the Rajah nightmares, that the highest among them just carries God upon his back for all the dream. Just singing. Glory, glory, glory. But her message was terrible. And when she kissed me, I a spat her. That's the right thing to do, Mary saw. I thought it was. But I don't know.
Now I told you you can do, all right? Now you can look. Oh, God. I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, oh, please don't go! Uh, why don't we stay and protect each other? There ain't no protection. That mask is after me. Girl, if I stay, you're gonna have death squads and torches all over me. But I'm not afraid. No, I say. What are you crazy or something? Look, right. if you see my skin, beautiful, just have some quick on sex with us in the back of the way, right? I'd be exceedingly grateful. Oh. I'm always loving you, Marisol. South, that way. I'll go south that way until I hit Miami. Then I'll know I'll have to shoot. dirty and my clothes smell bad. I'm getting dirty and my clothes smell bad. And my fucking stomach's struggling. That pile of marisol, it is lethal. I thought I killed you. The man on the other side of that wall put rat poison in that pile to discourage the homeless from picking through it. God bless the child that's got his own, huh? It's good to see you, Marisol. Ah, uh, you almost killed me. But I forgive you. And I forgive my sister, too. Have you seen her? I haven't seen her. I'm sorry. Hey, do you want some food? Some edible food. I can prepare you some secret edible food. Okay, but Letty, you're a mess. 
I'm fucking enormous. I have the worst case of hemorrhoids, and the smell of Chinese food makes me puke my guts. I don't know what to say about this. What would June say? Ha! I have something I think you're gonna like, Marisol. Took great pains to get, lots of weaseling around the black market, you know, greasing palms, giving blowjobs. The thing a mother will do for their fetus. Ah, there it is until... Ah, I got it. <gasps> That's an apple, but they're extinct! Only if you believe in that works. The powers of V have the very last tree held up in the Pentagon in the middle of the five-sided beast. Mwah. I was on a horrible diet until I got knocked up. I was eating raw shoelaces, old milk cartons, cigarette butts, cat food, roach motels. It's nice to be able to give my baby a few essential nutrients. So, you're really going to be a mother? Baby's been kicking. It's got great aim, always going for my bladder. I'm pissing every five minutes. <laughs> Can I feel? It's impossible to sleep. If I lie on my back, I'm crushed. On my side, can't breathe. Baby's heartbeat keeps me up. It's ticking like a bomb, and I know when it goes, it's gonna go big. There's something moving in there! <laughs> when it's happy, it does backflip. My fucking kidneys end up in my throat. Did I mention my hemorrhoids? Yeah. Here. Eat. Don't waste my food, you dumb shit! God, that's just salt! That's just salt in there! My baby's trying to build a brain! My baby needs all the nutrients it can get! It's not an apple! It's not food! You can get out of here if you're gonna be ungrateful. This is your my old... My baby and I do not need you! This is your old bullshit, Lenny! That's a fucking pumpkin under your clothes! You're just trying to dislodge me, confuse me, push me over to the edge, contradict all I know, so I won't even know my own name. Uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of food left in the Pentagon anymore. Oh, 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 give me a break! When the sun comes up, this will all be over. Everyone will go to work. You'll be a myth, a folk tale. that when this is your baby. That is not my baby! For days and days, all I did was think about you. And the more I thought about you, the bigger I got. Of course it's your baby. I don't know what you're talking about. Should have had a fucking abortion. I think you're a freak, Lenny! I'm supposed to know that men don't have babies, but I don't know that anymore, do I? Well, if you're really pregnant, then we have to start at the beginning, don't we? Well, I'm not ready to do that. I'm no freak. Every man should have this experience. There'd be fewer wars. This is power. This is energy. I worship my new organs. The violent blood stream between two hearts in one body? That's a revolution. That's... That's... Oh, now what is it? Ah, uh, that and this. <sighs> oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, I think this is. Get out I of here. This is it. Ah, oh. So, okay. Okay. <laughs> my water broke. This can't be happening to me now. Oh, God, feel my breasts. They're empty. How am I going to make any milk to feed the baby? Oh, oh, oh! I'm telling you to cut this oh, shit out oh, right now, buddy! Oh, 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 what? What the? Ah! Okay. Ah! Oh! Breathe! 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 I am breathing, you asshole! Breathe some more! Ah! Oh, Jesus! I'm a warm as hell! Oh! 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 Oh!
party? Here in Brooklyn. Wow. Here, I finally made it. Everyone comes to this place eventually. Why? People are buried here. It looks like a street, but it's not. It's a tomb. For who? Provides us with these coffins. They know how we live. These babies are born on the street. Little girls of the twilight hours who never felt warm blankets around their bodies, never drank their mother's holy milk. Little boys born with coke in their blood. where babies who die in the street are buried. Never heard of it. Never. Shh, shh, shh. Everyone who sleeps and begs in the open air knows it's addressed. Come with gifts, flowers, crucifixes. The wind plays organ music. The hard concrete turns to gentle moss so the babies can decompose with grace. We all come here sooner or later. To pay our respects to the most fragile street people. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Yeah. Bless the bed that I lie on. Bless the bed Bless that I lie on. Four corners to my bed. Four corners to my bed. Four angels around my head. And four angels, angels around my head. One to watch and one to pray. One to watch and one to pray. Two to bear your soul away. Two to bear your soul away. Good night, little Marisol. Good night, Marisol. Furman Rivera, born March 14th, died March 16th. Jose Amengual, born August 2nd, died August 2nd. Delfina Perez, Born December 23rd, died January 6th. Jonathan Sand, born July 1st, died July 29th. Wilfred Theron, dates unknown. No name, no name, no name. Look at this goddamn thing. It's waste. It's a fucking parasite. God, I am so sick of it. I'm sick of 
the eyesore. Sick of the diseases. Sick of the drugs. Sick of the homelessness. Sick of the border babies. Sick of the dark skin. Sick of that compassion thing. That's where it all started when they put in that fucking compassion thing. I mean, why can't they just go away? I mean, if you people want to kill yourselves, do it. Kill yourselves with your crack and your incest and your promiscuity and your homo-anal intercourse. Just leave me and take care of myself. And my own. Leave me to my gardens. Oh, I'm good on my gardens. I'm good on my acres of green grass. God distributes green grass in just the right ways. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. If everybody did that, I swear on my gold city bank MasterCard. There wouldn't be any problems anywhere. In the next millennium. Put that shit out, you fucking Nazi! Stay still so I can burn you! Isn't that amazing? 
The silver cities of the heavens are burning for us. Attacks and counterattacks are making travel impossible. And triumphant angels are taking over the television stations. All for us. All for me. I'm sorry, Marisol. We don't need revolution here. We can't have upheaval at the drop of a hat. No handing out pamphlets, no shoving daisies in the rifles of militiamen, no stopping tanks by standing in their way. Unless you want to join us. Instantly, little blazing lead meteors enter my body. My blood cells ride those bullets into outer space. My soul surges up the oceans of the Milky Way at the speed of light. In that moment of death, I see the invisible war. Thousands of years of fighting pass at an instant. New and terrible forms of warfare, monstrous weapons, and unimaginable strains of terrors are created and destroyed in billions of a second. Galaxies spring from a single drop of angel sweat, while the hundreds of armies fight on the fingertips of children in the Bronx. Earthly noise, the rebels advance. 